This anime can be described in one opening. That is one of the best openings in any anime. Yeah. Anyway, this is the Demon Slayer review that I promised you guys on Twitter. Even though I kind of expected that uh, one of the video games that I chose would win. But Demon Slayer won. <laughs> anyway. Demon Slayer is probably one of the best animes out there. I mean, it follows the story of Tanjiro who... I got the character list up here, so I don't forget any of these fake characters. Yeah. Bowser's well, from uh, Tanjiro Komada, Kom Kamamoda, or whatever. Tanjiro, who lives an ordinary life, an ordinary life of any person in Fudo or whatever Japan this is. Until he gets his act. Until his family gets set by demons. Yay! <laughs> and the only lone survivor is Zezuko. And her mother and siblings, even a freaking baby, dies. Never see that in anime. He's attacked by a demon. And then. Uh, Tanjiro tries to save Nezuko to take her to get some medical help nearby and then he falls off a cliff and then we meet our demon slayer demon slayer tries to kill Nezuko but with no avail Nanjiro beats the demon slayer kind of not really and the demon slayer known as Ryu Miu I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but I'm going to try anyway. Geu Tomioka. Tomioka. Tomioka, yeah. Tomioka. I think that's what they call him. Tomioka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tomioka. I'm going to call him that because I think that's how you pronounce it. Tomioka. But Tomioka tries to kill Nezuko. And that's pretty much it. Nezuko protects Tanjiro from getting hurt, and Tomioka doesn't want to hurt Nezuko anymore and tells them to go find an old man with a red mask on. And I forgot his name too, so. His name is Sako. Oh my god, those names are hard to pronounce. Sako Saka 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 
that's easier to mount. That key, also known as uh, the Mad Circuit Trains, Sanjo, and Fine Techniques. Well, Sanjo learned how to fight and become a demon and two years have passed since his family has been killed. And we see a lot of character growth throughout those two years. He's been training for like two years. Well, I don't think it's actually two years. I think it's a couple months, but the dub makes it confusing, I think. <laughs> anyway. The anime is phenomenal. And it's pretty much it. I think Tanjiro goes to, go to get his become an official demon so and gets a core without killing the demon. But first he cuts a boulder with help of some ghost kids. He wants revenge for getting killed by a demon. Which is also kind of a twist. I never saw that coming. Tanjiro kills the demon, which we have our first demon kill for Tanjiro, which he actually does pretty well. Cuts off his freaking head, even though he said it's on its rock. And Tanjiro does a pretty good job at killing demons until he meets. Until later on, he meets Muzan. That name I can remember. Muzan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Muzan. Music and Kabuchi. Yeah. He was a bastard who was supposed to die in hell. And we learn and discover that Muzan is a person who turned Nezuko into a demon and killed the entire Tanjiro's family. And it's up to our hero um, Tanjiro to defeat Muzan and Kabuchi. Well, also kind of demons in a way. Now, the story is pretty easy to follow. It's basically fighting demon of the week. Basically, yeah. It's pretty easy to follow. But it's basically the same thing. It's follows of um, Muzan and Kabuchiki. Fighting demon of the week. And it's pretty good. And the fights are phenomenal. They're so freaking good, especially with one fight that I have to mention which is probably the best fight in the, the first season the freaking drum fight <laughs> and the walls are turning and you know what fight I'm talking about the guy with the freaking drums on his shoulders chest and knees and thighs the guy who drums and room changes and call mods come out yeah that fight is so fucking cool the angles change, the animation looks phenomenal while change. And let's talk about the animation. The animation is fucking phenomenal. And yeah. I got nothing else to say about the animation. It's fucking phenomenal. I think the animation is done by uh T V Tokyo. I can't remember what's the animation company. It's done by Dove Animated for sure, but like, I don't know, it doesn't say. Don't look it up. I think it's done by Orange Studio or something. Or Kimo no Koei. Oh, Kimo no uh, Anime. 
think that sounds familiar. I cannot remember. <laughs> Should have probably done. Oh, affordable. Anime studio affordable who does the animation and yeah, they do a phenomenal job of doing the animation. Good to them. Oh, affordable studios. If you get the Nets One Punch Man season, you do a perfect job. Please do the Nets One Punch Man fucking season. One Punch Man One Punch Man season three if it ever comes out. If it comes out. Anyway. That's the beginning of the topic. And let's talk about the characters. Um, Matt Tanjiro is pretty much the leader. A very calm. He's very smart. He uses tactics in his fights, finds their weaknesses, and fades them off. He also has two moves. Uh, I think it's like eight water forms. I think it's eight. No, I think it's seven. No, nine. No, eight. I think it's seven or nine. I can't remember. I think it's seven forms of water forms which he uses, and then he has his flame or sun form or sun thinking form that he uses that he discovers while finding a Kizuki. But seven lower first or sets. I think he's like the strongest one of the demons. Of the lower ones. Which he gives a pretty good fight. And yeah. And Intangible is not like gonna feel sympathy for these demons for killing people, but well, he kinda does feel sympathy for the demons, but you just remember that these demons were had a terrible life and that's why they became demons because they had a terrible life and bad things happened to them. <laughs> that's life. Anyway. Which makes you feel sorry for the demons in the end, even though they kill tons of people, you kind of feel sorry for the demons in the end, which I really like, that they kind of make you feel sorry for the demons in the end. Eh, except for Mugen Train, I think they forget about that in Mugen Train. Oh, man, Mugen Train, Hashra gets defeated. Spoiler, I think the frame Hashira gets defeated in by Akasu Akaza, and I just want to see Akaza die by Tanjiro's hands. If he does not die by Tanjiro's hand by the end of this anime, I will fucking blow my lid. Anyway. They do manage to feed an upper rank demon in season two. The upper ranks, upper rank sits demons, upper rank sits demons, which is kind of confusing. How does that work? Are they like connected or something? I, I don't know. It's not really explained well. And this anime is pretty good. The animation style is amazing, phenomenal. It's done in little software done by pretty good animation studio. I think they did a couple of anime I watched, which I can't remember right now. It's like the best anime studio, I believe. I think they've done like a lot of anime that I do not know off the top of my head. But Demon Slayer is probably one of them, and probably just one of the best animes that they've done. Hopefully, they don't change animation studios like One Punch Man <laughs> for Demon Slayer. That would suck. 
but before this view gets too long, I just want to give my final thoughts. This anime is pretty good. The plot is pretty good. The story is good. Like I said, the plot and story are basically the same thing. It's basically, deep in the week. Or demon fights of the week. And also, f- and also later on, um, Sasuni, Inosuke, and Zetsu, Senutsu, Senutsu, the lightning dude, the guy who's screaming his ass with girls and falls in love with Nanzago. Mm. Zenitsu, yeah, Zenitsu, come into play, and a bunch of other demon slayers. And Tundra was later put on court for helping Nezuko, who was also a demon. But Nezuko joins the demon side of court. Yep, that happens. And this anime is freaking phenomenal. I really love this anime. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. The first season is pretty good. The second se- movie, Mujin Train Arc, is pretty awesome. It's legit. I haven't seen like the episode versions. I've just seen the movie. The movie's more. The animation is more better in the movie version. So that's why I watched that one because it actually had a bigger budget. Even though the first episode of the anime had an extra scenes in it. Mostly because it was longer than the movie. Not by much, but longer. And second season. And not a... It's okay, I guess. It's, it's a major downgrade. It's still good. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's not. It's still phenomenal. It's still good. Twist. There's still like some twists and turns in this anime in the second season, but it's not as good as the first season, especially the opening, which is da 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 da, which sounds so stupid. Every time I hear it, it's like no. I can't even listen to that second opening from. The Demon Slayer 2 Season 2 opening. It's so bad. Ugh. Ugh. But I have you recommend this anime. It's for Season 2. Well, you can watch Season 2 if you want to. I'm just not a big fan of Season 2 of Demon Slayer. I just... It's good, but... It's alright, I guess. Not the biggest fan of Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer Season 2. The first season was a phenomenal. The mood and train was even bigger. Phenomenal. Season 2 was just like a letdown. Hopefully, Season 3 brings the punches and naturally shows different demon fights instead of just showing one demon fight and drag it along. Drag it, drag it along for like 8 episodes. Literally eight episodes. I'm not kidding. It's literally eight episodes. Actually, seven. Yeah, seven episodes. They literally drag the fight on for like seven episodes. Which I now thinking about it, the first season kind of did that. Not really. It wasn't as long. But at least they showed you different fights throughout the anime in like season 2 we literally just shows you the first three episodes hey you know, remember your favorite characters Tanjiro, Zanasi and Inosuke well they're gonna dress up like girls get used to that for the first three episodes until they're undressed and get into the regular outfits I'm sorry why would you have them wouldn't it just make more sense Treachery, ask around and tell them about the demon slayers. Why were you? 
Hey, wait, wait. Not a big fan of season two. It's an overall a light anime. I wouldn't say it's a disappointment. It's just so light. It's a letdown. F it is a letdown, though, from the first season. Hoping season three will be better when it comes out next year. Well, sometime next year. But overall, this anime is good. I give it 10 out of 10. One of the best animes out there. I highly recommend it if you've seen it. But the big question is does it beat Fairy Tale? You know, I'm a big Fairy Tale fan. It's even in my name. Like, my name is Ethno Goji. <laughs> the very in the name. Ethnogia. Ethno. And then Goji. Goja. Goji. <laughs> I did not think that through when I made that name. <laughs> But I've been known for that name for like, like, like three years now. But the anime is, but I love the anime. It's freaking phenomenal. But I love the anime. I love Demon Slayer. But does it be fairy tale? Uh, eh, eh, uh, I have to think about it. I'll probably have to rewatch Fairy Tale again for like the bonus time. Rewatch where I left off, which was like one twenty three, episode one twenty three of Fairy Tale. Or I can just rewatch it all over again, which will take me forever. It's like three hundred and twenty eight episodes. I will take me months to rewatch that over again. And that'll probably take me a year now because I work and I don't have time off like I used to. So it's gonna take me a year to rewatch that. A year. Yeah, that you can't do that. It takes a year to, be, to watch that entire anime. Unless you decide to like watch like ten episodes a day. Or nine. Or just welcome. Or just anyway, this be. But so far, I have to think about it. If Demon Slayer beats Fate overall, my favorite anime. For now, I'm not sure. I love Demon Slayer a lot. It's a really good anime. So far, I can't say if it's my favorite anime now compared to Fate Tale because. I've been hooked on for Fairy Tale for like since 2015. Yeah, since I was like 14. Yeah, since I was 14. Been hooked on to the anime since I was 14 in my freshman year. Wait, I don't think it was freshman year. I think it was like, I think I was like in eighth grade when I was hooked on to Fairy Tale. No, wait, ninth grade. Yeah, freshman year. Before I turned 15. 15, it was like 14 when I got into the anime. I've been hooked on ever since. I've been hooked on that anime for like 7 years. And I'm so excited to see 100 Year Quest turn into an anime. I got all the manga that's available in the States. Just need 2 more volumes. Which haven't been released yet. Why aren't you releasing a freaking manga in one? Never mind. Anyway. The anime is fucking phenomenal. I highly recommend you watch Demon Slayer. It's the end of the video. As I'm going to sign off. And I'll be streaming tonight. I'll be streaming. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before I stream or after I stream. Or at around the same time. But. Go watch Demon Slayer. One of the best animes. Sorry for the terrible review. If you want a better review, go watch Anime America or any other anime get channel if you want a better review. I'm very good at stuff. This comes gets low. This anime is very fun. Well, this is what we're off. And remember, stay big, Demon Save. Stay big, anime fans.